I've had several requests, but the last one I got from Mick is going to put me over the edge here a little bit because we are going to do something fun. This is going to be for Mick. That is a glass jar. Very, very dangerous thing to have around for a lot of people. Uh, this is my setup, and I'm going to make another one. This is... Uh, ooh, it's all... Oh, what a tangled web we have here. Come on, I know you're in there. That's the bad thing about this stuff. It gets, it gets all inter intertwined. And, Let's see what this is. This is a Robin Air 2 stage. I just thought this was a single stage. Uh, 15, 500. And there you go. I have probably put, what? Ooh, 15, 20 hours on this. Vacuuming out uh, air conditioner systems and, and whatnot like that. But uh, I one day just decided that I wasn't going to use uh, this anymore. Where's that thing? Uh, da, 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 da. Well, I might have a wobble here for me to find it. Oh, I know where it is. Gotta go up here anyway. I must have taken it out. Okay, but anyway, I kind of keep all kind of hoses. You can sort of tell. I buy this stuff uh, in various sizes. By the, I gotta, I gotta put some of this on. I gotta redo Daphne's fuel system, so I'll put that out to her. My black stuff's hard to bend, but it is stainless steel. So uh, I'll have to sort out uh, what of this flexible hose I'm gonna use, and then I have to go over here. You might as well get the whole tour, and then I go over here to my steel lines. And my nickel cadmium stuff. And that's just a real long one. I keep. You can tell I'm I'm somewhat organized. I, most times when people ask me for something, I can have it in their hands in a short amount of time. So I believe I need to go get my. My belief is that what is that three sixteenths line that I use on the vacuum pump always keep this handy and then I'll, I'll cut that and uh, let me show you how this works you're gonna make a video you might as well do it right uh, let's see <clears throat> here let's get in fractional if you get one of these make sure and get a fractional one that is I think that might be quarter yeah, that's quarter. And that is uh, 316. So, uh, some dime magazine. Quarter. So, I'm using quarter pipe here. And then this flex pipe because that goes into the lipped end of this old brake hose. And uh, so, one side of this is... Uh, I put it on there good yesterday, then I emptied it because... Of that all that work we didn't need to do on that Sebring yesterday. Oh, yeah, we did. So one's gonna be short, and you go long, you go short. This is gonna be where you pull your vacuum, and this is gonna be where you dump the fluid in so you don't end up befouling your uh, $150, $200 vacuum pump. And uh, I'll try to make mix a little bit neater. And you gotta have a little bit of rubber hose because on the vacuum side, you can see that's the vacuum side, and this baby has a couple of different fittings, and that's to go on your manifold for your air conditioning, but I just do this, I just slip that on there, and then you got yourself vacuum. Uh, you really want to, then you can put, put away, you don't even know or care where it is, but one of those mighty vac things where you get to sprain your wrist, uh, it's up here somewhere, but I really don't need it, nor do I care about it anymore. I do kind of wonder where, where it went, but uh, I'll find it one day. So, uh, Robin Air, imagine it in my hand working. So, I'll set this up for Mick and show him what I'm going to do. So, let me dig out some quarter pipe, 
and you're going to drill a couple of holes in here and uh, you want to fit that as tightly as you can because you do want to vacuum seal, you know, of course. So let me dig in here and see what I can find and uh, make, make up something nice here. I've got to get my pipe cutters and all that other stuff. So I've got my pieces assembled. I got my drill with a quarter inch drill bit. I uh, got uh, that thing. I'm kind of done with that. I've got a piece of quarter inch steel pipe, kind of left over. I got my little angle pipe, and I got this thing, which will the, I leave one of the bubble ends on uh, because this this is easier to move and to manipulate when you're down in a brake cylinder or whatever, and that sort of comes up to that. So let me go get some. Uh, some nylon hose or what uh, plastic hose and uh, get this get this sorted out for ever for Mick here uh, let's see. okay let's move this stuff and put the air pump up here so if you get the exact uh, pump that I have here I never untangled that then you should just be able to plug and play oh, things are heavy now they do also come with a sight glass where you can see your oil here, which is nice, and you need to use the Robin Air oil. <clears throat> I don't know if that's really true, but it should come with it. But th this is it right here. And uh, so, anyway, that's, that's what I get for that. So I still haven't found, and there's the manifold gauge. And this yellow tube <clears throat> is the one that plugs into your Robin Air. And I think some of us know that uh, AC manifolds change. They change the threading to make you buy more stuff. So uh, I don't know if this handles both of those. But uh, anyway, why did why you no know move? Okay, there it goes. So always remember too that on your plugs there should be a rubber gasket in there. I don't seem to use that one so much, but there are two different sizes. Uh, and I guess you can get other adapters and use them. You don't have to put them on so hard. I don't know why I did that. So uh, that goes there. And then it has another cap for some other reason. I don't know. But uh, maybe they changed that. I'm not sure. So let's put this together. And uh, let me. So you want to have the cap on your uh, jug. And you want to kind of go inside a little bit because you're drilling glass. It can be done. I have done it, but it ain't. It ain't. Ain't something you want to do with your typical masonry or wood type drill bit. Okay, you get it. Okay, I want to keep this short here, okay? So I'm, I'm going to finish this up now. So I've got the jar made. I put some uh, super glue and some uh, zip kicker. If you've never used that before, it's great stuff. Don't get it on your hands. Don't get any of that on your hands. And I mixed up some old uh, two-part epoxy, and I hope Mick has noticed, but I made it. I made it left-handed. See, so uh, but I did put my initials over here so he can see them. Didn't know I was Buddy Holly, did you? So this way he can handle it, and then he can point it toward his new vacuum vacuum master, AccuVac. And I got a piece of rubber tube, and I went in this way because uh, this tube fits better. I don't know what this is internally. I think it's quarter inch internally. I don't know. Your results may vary because this is quarter. It fits pretty good. I, I'm just guessing I got it right. So here's the end of it, and this you can take this out. That's why the bubble on the end, the bubble, bubble flares on the end of that. <coughs> so we're ready to give her a test run here, and uh, I'm gonna have to leave her alone for. I'll put her in the sun when I when I get ready to. I gotta go to town. So let's make sure this works. Now let's just pretend this is a brake master. Let's see how long it takes to suck it dry. And there it goes. So there's nothing in that tube. That's the shorty tube. And the tube going into the bottom. You see it all bubbling around in there. So that took about a quart of water and however long it took. I don't, I'm not going to sit there and figure it out. And see that dirt down in the bottom? I, I left that there on purpose so you can actually pull a lot of that dirt up. 
So when you're in the bottom of the master cylinder, you can you can kind of get in the nooks and crannies, and you can you can you can you can just keep cleaning. Here you go. Let's do this. It's kind of hard to do, but there you go. There's my initials in the bottom of the thing. <laughs> All right. So that's the way that works. And uh, as you can tell. That's better than sitting there, you know, doing a hand job. This is this is a cut above that. I, you can make your own jokes out of that if you want to. Uh, but anyway, that's the way it works. And it's all set and ready for Mick to go. Uh, you got to get your own pump, though, okay? <laughs> I love this pump. So you can tell, you can you can clean up pretty good in there. And once again, I reiterate, when you're doing a, uh, a you know doing the front or rear pads or whatever. Um, you know, just put put your cylinders in, vacuum out your master cylinder, and then do your your push in your cylinders or your whatever it is, and push that old fluid up out of there, and and vacuum that out and get get all the old fluid you can out when you put your new pads in. Put in the fresh fluid out of a metal can. And I don't think I gave the part number on this. I should have. Uh, it's just. Uh, I don't know if it's got a part number, but this is what you want. Uh, now, some people say they uh, change every two years. Some There's whatever that thing is for your cell phone. I've never done that. There you go. There's your part number for this stuff. Get on wherever you get, you're getting place is and get this stuff. Uh, I had a hell of a time with those things. If you're going to get an AC manifold, be sure and make sure your fittings are right. Might just buy those locally and take it out and make sure that they fit anymore because I've had that trouble. So we're going to uh, take these hoses off and uh, here, I'll, and we'll put it. We're just going to take this off, put it on because I want to make this short. I don't want to get all too worried about it. So give me a thumbs up and hit like, subscribe, and uh, any number of jokes here. But I'm just going to say bye. Insert joke here. I wanted to make another few statements here. Uh, dot three, dot four. It dot four is better. I don't care what it says on anything you have. They say use dot three because it's not as good. So use dot four. Just I'm tired of messing around. AGN batteries are better than lead acid batteries. In very few circumstances on an old motorcycle, you might have to get a lead acid battery. AGN batteries are better than lead acid. Dot four is better than dot three. Dot 5, you can't use it in most cars because it's pure silicone and will foam and will cause you to have brake failure. So don't mix dot 3, 4 with 5. I understand there's a 5.1 out there. I've never seen it. It may be better than dot 4, but that's my story and that's the way it is and there's no argument with that, so don't argue with me. The other argument is if you do your brakes, you may need to get uh, some kind of uh, electronic system to power bleed your brakes. So keep that in mind. Mick and I ran into that. We changed the fluid on his big uh, Nissan, uh, Nis Nissan, or however you want to say it. There's, there's no E in there, so I don't say Nissan. I say Nissan. That's another thing. Don't argue with me. <laughs> okay, and uh, but you some we bled the brakes. The pedal went right to the floor. We didn't know then you had to, you had to have a big computer, and I've had to use it on my car, my more modern car, to, to bleed the brakes and it's it somehow gets the air I don't know where it goes but it bleeds it and vents it or however it does it I do not know how it works but if you do your your pads remember to uh, don't change your pads and go driving off because you won't have any brakes you have to test them and pump them and, and that's a great time to have somebody check your brake lights make sure that all three sections are working if you have a third brake light make sure it's working uh, all your brake lights are working as they should uh, I won't. I, I can go down to any rabbit hole you want, but uh, if you, uh, I have seen, I have heard of and seen uh, people who change brake pads and they go driving off and the pedal goes to the floor and they can't stop. So test your brakes whenever you do anything on the brake system at all, and just remember you may have to get a power bleed. And dot three is not as good as dot four. Just keep all that in mind. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye bye.